Hey Virgo, this is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel, House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Please remember this is a general love reading. Be mindful, the messages may or may not resonate. And if you would like to book a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. <clears throat> Just click that link, okay? That will take you right to my booking site. All right, Virgo, let's see what your love messages are going forward. Virgo. So the High Priestess is here. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords right in the center. <laughs> Two of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands. And the Two of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands. Okay. I see commitment. I see family. Uh, I see re returning home or a reunion with someone. Um, there's been a lot of struggles and challenges to get home, it feels. Either to get home or for someone to come back to you. Um, somebody here feels defeated, completely defeated, ready to make a change here with the world, start a new cycle and chapter with you. Uh, a lot of remorse and grief, um, perhaps some betrayal lot of competition or some struggles here okay so let's take a look see what your love messages are hi everybody hope you're doing well okay let's see what are virgo's love messages okay attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully Wow, religious factors again, keeps showing up. Unrequited love, all right. Virgo, your person's been awfully quiet, not saying anything, not revealing anything. Right now, <clears throat> your person is thinking about proposing to you, okay? Um, and it feels mostly like with the Two of Pentacles, figuring out how to do this. Now we do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm picking up some Cancer, some Pisces vibes, and Virgo vibes. Okay, yeah. This person, here we have Aquarius again, the Fool. They're freeing themselves from their silence. Someone is coming out of their silence at this time. And when the time is right, this person is going to offer their emotions, their cup of love to you. And they're going to come riding in on their horse. <laughs> um, Virgo. Who is this person? Now, for some of you, this is a past thing. And I know you guys, when you come in and you listen to the video, if I speak about the past, and it sounds like I'm talking about the past every day, it's because I'm doing the video every day. Okay, so be mindful of that. You know, um, the energies, whatever is resonating with you the most, that's your reading. But I am going to do the singles. So if you're not interested in a past love, there will be a singles here after this reading. Okay. So this Knight of Cups, I feel like this person, yep, they're freeing themselves from their silence, from not communicating with you and not speaking to you. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. When the time is right, they're going to communicate with you and reach out to you. And tell you their plans or what they want or what they're hoping to achieve here with you to express to you their their ideas okay it feels like this person has had or it's just missing you this is something to do with coming home or it's a challenge it's been a real challenge for this person to return. But it feels like they're giving up on their silence. It feels like this, the silence. I 
I just heard, what is that song? Enjoy the Silence by Depeche Mode. And I can't remember the words to it, but there's attraction. Um, I feel like this person is incredibly attracted to you still. I don't feel like that's ever stopped. Okay, I don't feel like anything has changed. If anything, you've become more attractive to this person. Let's see this fool. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Freeing themselves to be with you in an exclusive relationship, marriage, commitment, what it might be. But it's definitely coming out of this dark, quiet, secretive place. And the Three of Pentacles is here, so that is also a card about marriage. A lot of this challenge or struggle had to do with obstacles or differences between the two of you okay maybe your religious beliefs spiritual beliefs your upbringing quite different quite different i just saw um someone lived on one side of the tracks or was raised on one side of the tracks and another person was raised on a on the opposite side it's like black and white there's a lot of differences here between the two of you. It could be racial, could be economic differences, geographical differences. All right, let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. This person wants to build here because they're broke. <laughs> broke in the sense where they're, they have this poverty mindset. What By themselves, they're nothing. With you, they see that something can be established, created that you guys can work together to build a happy um, relationship with each other. There's massive change happening in this person's life that they're currently going through. And that silence or them not communicating with you has a lot to do with that. Okay. Um, you might have just been communicating with this person like you may have never met them at all. It might just be an online thing that you guys have been doing back and forth for um, a certain amount of time. And you've never actually met in person. And it feels like the challenge for a lot of, well, for this person is the distance. This person's coming out of closing in on this distance. See, because it's kind of been online, there was a lot more silence than seeing each other. So I feel like this person, for a lot of you, it feels like a long distance relationship, but mostly where you haven't met before. So this person is coming in with the truth, the queen of swords, the blunt, blunt truth that they've been in decision mode. I feel like that's communication also that they're going to come in and tell you that, um, you know, they really do want to be with you. It's just that. The obstacles have been quite challenging to make this happen. I don't know if you guys just stopped talking. There was a lack of, like, there wasn't communication. It just ended. I'm not seeing ghosting here. It might have just been a situation where it just ended. Okay? And there's a loss here. There's this person missing you. Queen of Swords energy. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. They want to build that strong foundation. Marriage relationship. Look, here's a four of wands underneath. So they've been kind of... It feels to me like if they blocked, if they were blocking or just going going silent and not communicating with you about what was going on with them, I feel like they didn't want to tell you that they saw a lot of obstacles. Um, or they may have told you there were obstacles but didn't go into detail about what they were. And I feel like whatever the obstacles were in your specific situation, they just didn't want to pursue the relationship because of that, because they felt it was too challenging. They couldn't see how it would work. Maybe there were other people involved or there was a lot of um, worrying about the he said, she said thing. Oh, here's the lovers on the two of swords. That's, these are both decision cards. So that's the decision. They want to get married or they want you in uh, sacred union. They want to be in a sacred union with you. It's Gemini energy here 
for some. They're coming after you. They're coming in. And they're ready to bridge the gap, to come out of silence, to communicate with you. And so this is for October. If you want, if you're uh, curious to know when this is going to be coming about. Um, let me see here. I feel like you're going to get either a text message. No, let me take that back. No, it's going... Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me hold off on that for a minute because I'm hearing a lot of different messages here. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's strange. For some of you, it's like a, a piece of mail. Something comes in like a piece of mail you get a letter I don't know who does that anymore but there's a letter of some sort for some of you this person was incarcerated they're coming out of jail <laughs> I'm not laughing um, at that I'm laughing at that the message just came through like that they're like at the end of their sentence Seven of Swords. Look at this. Running away. But not running away from you. Running away from wherever they've been or that lifestyle. This person does not want to be single. They have been single. They haven't been communicating with anybody else. They've been just working on their money. Um... How is this person going to communicate with Virgo? How is this person going to communicate with Virgo? Because they feel like this relationship isn't going to be able to stand the test of time. They, they're worried that it's, they're worried that you view, you know what, it, it, they're just telling me, because this person told you that there were too many obstacles. They put obstacles in front of this relationship from it moving forward. And now they've had a change of heart now things can start moving forward and yet they're concerned that you may not see it that way anymore because you believe that there some of you Virgos said no you're right there are too many obstacles some of you just said no I'm just not doing it anymore are you not you're not interested and in, but now I don't know what made this all right two questions here how is this person going to communicate with Virgo <laughs> mental telepathy it's like you already know some of you already can feel that this person's coming in in October for sure you, you, some of you are able to feel um, their stress and anxiety or you're, you're feeling it's, it's strange to you because you're fine and then the next minute you have this overwhelming sense of grief or um or you're having these dreams, so they're they're coming to you through your dreams. Okay, they're communicating to you through your dreams, and I know some of you. Look, here's the Ten of Swords again. Okay, surrender. This person has completely hit rock bottom when it comes to um, you. And they were resisting. How is this person going to communicate with Virgo? Okay, oh, they're giving me the Eight of Pentacles. Well, they just keep telling me your dreams. It's like night after night after night. You keep having these, you're seeing them in your visions, your dreams. It's like you just know. You guys are connected in that way. Lovers is here. That's twin flame. They're going to tell you the truth about someone else that they were connected with. Okay. Okay. They might have been, let's see, what is this other person? Um, who is this other person? Okay, the three. Somebody they were working with or they were in school with, if they were attending school or some kind of training or something, um, or someone they were in 
some kind of collaboration with. I don't feel like there was anything romantic going on there, but I feel like you, some of you had like a concern about this other person, like why are they talking to them, what's going on, that kind of thing, but I don't feel like anything else was going on. I feel like this person has been completely single, and if there was an opportunity for something to occur with them and another person, there, there wasn't enough attraction or chemistry for something to happen there. You are their love with the two of swords and the lovers. Yep, the sun, Leo energy, very positive. Yes, that's like spirit is agreeing. Spirit saying yes, you two are twin flames. This is, and that has a lot to do with the struggles and the difficulty in the relationship, the challenges, very challenging relationship. Virgo, I'm surprised you've held out as long as you have. Um, because I feel like this has been really, really hard for you. Um, but you just know. You just know. You know, I mean, it's like some of you, you know, like I see you kind of standing there on the shoreline and you see this big wave and it's way out there in the distance, but you see the water down at your feet is just kind of pulling out to sea. So you know that this big wave is coming. You know that this thing is coming. You feel it. They feel it too. It's almost like you both are being pushed towards each other. All right, let me take a look at this person's love messages here for you. You are the best thing in my life. Wow. I guess you guys were in separation. Maybe there was like a, an ending that happened in the past. I lost myself for a little while, but I want you. Wow, Virgo. Just being near you is intoxicating. They want to be near you. It's interesting because <laughs> for a lot of you, like I said, you hadn't actually, I don't feel like you met in the, in the world, in the 3D, you know, in physically, but the world card is here and I feel like that's going to change. Now, if you have met this person before, but nothing happened, it didn't go anywhere. I feel like it's, you know, this is 2021, so definitely between now and the end of the year, but mostly for October. This person is coming in. This is a card of travel as well and communicating online. The world, the, the world wide web kind of communication. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, it was all about timing. You know, I don't know what these challenges were. I think this person needed to have some kind of a wake up call in their own mind like nothing you did or said was going to change this person's mind except possibly leaving it walking away that that seems to may have been a trigger i will wait for a sign from you <laughs> well you're both giving each other signs in your dreams this person is definitely dreaming of you i feel like they're thinking of you i bury myself in work to forget you. you don't know how hard it was to let you go but i couldn't let you get close to me yeah because they weren't ready i look for you everywhere though and i i did hide who i really am from you yeah because you're online and it's very easy to fake an online personality i'm afraid to contact you you came closer than anyone but we will be together again. And this time in real life. Okay? Long distance relationships are really tough. A lot of people have them for years before they actually meet. And I wouldn't really classify those as relationships. I mean, unless you're just in a virtual world, then I guess that would. But it, it's even hard when you actually know each other and you have to split up 
and keep a long distance relationship going but some of you have held on and this person has held on because something about this long distance relationship where you know you see each other on FaceTime um, you have video calls and stuff but you also communicate a lot there's a lot of communication and talking it actually brought you, a lot of you a lot closer and formed more of a bond because there really was no actual physical interaction. You know, maybe there was some online intimacy, but no actual phys like being there together. So that created an even stronger soul tie than if you both were together in real life. And I feel like that bond has not broken. And it was just a matter of like taking it from one level to the next, to coming into union in real life, to really seeing each other and moving forward with that. And it feels like that's where your person is at right now. Like they're ready for this. Let's get your charms. Oh, there's that camera again. What did I say? FaceTiming, video calling, Zooming, I don't know. However you guys video call or talk to each other on the phone or what have you. Definitely. Um, you might. Okay, there you go. I was saying dreams. That's what they were talking about. Like, I don't know, maybe even nightmares, but images, visual images would represent having um, video calling, that kind of thing. Um, photos, pictures, going back and forth. You, a lot of you relied heavily on that, okay? Now, this may not be for you. This reading seems quite specific. So again, it's not, not all of you have had these online things going on. Not all of you have had, you know, a lot of you did meet in person um, and had an actual relationship in person. Um, but for some of you, I do feel there's a message here that you could currently be talking to someone online. This is not your past person um and this is an energy i'm actually going to skip the singles now this is an energy about someone that you could be currently speaking with or will be that wants to go from being on virtual that wants to go from the virtual wor world to the real world okay but there are a lot of differences between the two of you and like I said, it could be geographical, it could be cultural, it could be racial, it could be financial differences, educational differences, spiritual, religious differences. But it feels to me like someone doesn't want to stay on the phone forever. Someone wants to have an actual relationship here. Okay, so now we have a heart. All right, Virgo, so this is totally a love reading. Um, they might be coming in or bringing you a gift like a little heart, a little heart gift or a, a chain or a necklace or something, or maybe you received one from this person in the past. All right, now we have a dashund, dashund. Am I saying that right? Dashund, little doggy. Looks like a little hot dog, hot dog doggy. Okay, so somebody here might have a little dashund. Am I saying that right? I hope I am. Somebody might have a dashund dog that you're sitting with right now or thinking about getting a, a little doggy like that they're so cute i love them and then we've got an anchor okay that is so symbolic of somebody wanting to anchor this relationship secure it anchor it make it real okay they i, I was just feeling this person may, may have been talking to somebody else online while they were talking to you and that just didn't work out. Which I know some of you might not want to hear that, but unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily mean they were. But if you feel like they were, you were curious. I feel like that is the case. Okay. Um, now, maybe somebody's a sailor um, or is in the Navy. I don't know what you call it in other countries, but um, works on a ship or is always on the water. Okay, this person, that could have a lot. Maybe there was military. It was like a military connection and it can only be done online. 
or you know on the phone that kind of thing let's get your advice this reading is going to be a little bit shorter shorty a weekend shorties i'm going to try and make these weekend shorties because i have stuff to do this weekend and i know you guys do as well i'm sure let's take a look where goes advice okay knight of pentacles you are loyal dedicated protective but you're apprehensive virgo Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to all of the details. Wait for perfect timing. There's a guardian angel or someone who watches over you right now. Um, this feels mostly like go slow. I feel like there's a solid offer coming in. There's a solid offer. There's three two cards on this table plus the high priestess. So this is an, a, an, an energetic reading about partnership for sure. Um, this could be an earth sign coming in. Someone who's younger than you. Um, and I mean, if you're 16 watching this, I mean, I guess whatever, hopefully not. But this is somebody who's making plans okay charting the map so they know which direction you might be getting some type of communication or something like how do i get there what are the directions how do i get to your home <laughs> or how where, what town do you live where can i meet you where should we meet let's make plans okay and then oh three of pentacles again now this is three times and this is my marriage card this is a card of building and creating and collaboration working together um, carving away and removing all things that are no longer necessary to reveal the inner to reveal the true art of this relationship the true beauty of this relationship okay some of you might actually be creators you may be getting paid for this maybe you're sculptors or you're creating something in your life right now you're building a business which is great little side note there um you're you're working on like creating something here working up in your studio some of you painting sculpting crafting construction carpentry doing some work i feel like you're going to be surprised this is going to come in right when you're in the middle of like not even paying attention and doing something here you're going to get some kind of message from somebody or um or it's just going to hit you that this person's coming you know that wave might be this person might be uh, it's definitely a reunion at your home for the two of you or just a union getting together this person's missed you. They hate not being with you, Virgo. And it kind of feels like whatever their struggles or obstacles or challenges or things like that that are also going on in their own personal life, this is coming to an end here. And they're they're free. A lot of the a lot of what this person has been going through, they have not been able to um, bring their end into union with you um and they've been kind of silent because they have a lot of challenges and things like that going on but this feels like permanency okay we have the king of swords here that's what that's yeah so we have two, two a king and a queen okay remain objective and fair-minded communicate clearly with this person virgo you might need to say something to them like you know you can't deal with unemotional relationships or someone who's un who's emotionally unavailable um but there's an awakening here piscean energy somebody here is seeing things in a whole new light with this relationship it feels mostly like getting offline and getting on the ground with each other okay and then you have the five of wands 
and that's here, yeah, all these conflicts, conflicts caused by op opposition. The advice here is walk away from any drama unless the situation is really worth your time and then stand up for yourself. Very be very ambitious, all right? So that's the question for you, Virgo. Is this something that you, you know, want to pursue or have someone pursue with you? Whether this is the past coming back, it, it, for some of you it is. Um, still a Mercury retrograde, so hey. Or somebody new that you've just been communicating with who wants to like, you know, maybe Virgo, you've been busy with what you're doing in your life and you've been chatting online with people but not really trying to come into union quite yet or just weren't able to i feel like this is actually coming forward for you now um, somebody here wants to actually meet and start from there build from there not build from being online but like you know when you're online it's like well, it's easy to kind of pretend um it's different when you're you're because there's a lot of inflection that gets missed when you're with someone one on one you see people's quirks like you see things about them you see the good you see the bad you see everything you get the full full embodied picture of the person you're connecting with and when you're just generally like on the phone like because you're not with them you don't see their everyday interactions you don't see how they are with like the delivery driver or the in their uber or how they are when they're out walking their dog you don't you know you don't see a lot of things you don't see that somebody you know leaves dishes in the sink or you don't see that they're very ocd and they like to they like so you know you don't have the full picture you have to have the full picture that's why this is very important here and a lot of you may have just skipped over taking the full picture and just said yes this is my person which is fine and it's not to say that if you meet in person then it, then it all falls apart it's just that it's not fair to not have that and you have to see how each each of you are in your everyday lives because that is what relationships are about you know i always make a joke i always say okay you're meeting someone online you're talking on facetime or whatever and you just see their face and they seem like this great person but then like you don't know if this person is missing a leg if they don't tell you you don't know if they're in a wheelchair if you don't see that stuff you know it's not that it's a bad thing it's just that you both kind of have to like have the full picture right i'm old school I, I had my whole entire dating life and was married before internet was ever around and we had texting or any of that stuff. It was very simple. You know, you meet someone, you go on dates, you're like there all the time. There was never any long distance stuff going on. Um, <laughs> so, and it's not to say, oh, that, that's the only way it'll work because sometimes it, even that doesn't work. But it's just that if you've been on, in an online thing, a virtual relationship and unless it's don't over invest is what i'm saying don't get overly invested in that to actually are with the person okay because and even if it's only one or two times that's still not enough there's still more that you don't know and and this is strictly for those of you who have not met your person or who have but you, like it was like one time and then they were gone and then you still kept talking so i feel like this person though you know whether it's your past or your present i feel like this person does want to find out more the everyday stuff the who you are every day what you look like in the morning how you are like how long it takes you to be in the bathroom <laughs> you know like get a shower like all these little nuances and these little caveats they this person i feel like wants to see all that about you and if that's something that you want to share and you want to you're ready to give that up and some of you might have like a peg leg and you need to tell your person you got to give them the truth and say hey listen by the way uh i'm a pirate <laughs> and please don't take that wrong sometimes i say things and i don't it's the virgo in me i can i can be kind of sarcastic um i don't think that people with peg legs are pirates i just saw a pirate in my mind and it's halloween so come on um, so it, you just want to see, and this person wants to see how you are in your everyday life. They want to see all of your natural 
beauty and your natural handsomeness and they want to see your flaws as well because that's what really makes the person that is what's the most that's what makes people real that this person and i feel like you too want the authenticity you want to see the real thing non-filtered non-made up the whole nine yards all right so i'm gonna leave your reading there virgo i hope that you under understood what i meant by the peg leg thing i got blasted yesterday because i i said a comment and I didn't mean anything by it, but I apologize because I'm not a narcissist. So sometimes I have to apologize for things. But anyway, um, I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, take care. All right. Bye.